Well, now back in the Harvey Norman Lounge on Pet Corner today, I'm joined by Vet Care's Alex Marrows to discuss one of the top 10 most common causes of vet visits for our cats and dogs, which is due to a thyroid complaint. Morning, Alex. Morning. So with cats, uh, what do they com commonly suffer from? Well, they get a condition called hyperthyroidism, what where is that? they've got too much thyroid hormone getting pumped out of their little thyroid glands in their neck. And it's basically like their cats speed it up. Their okay. metabolism. Right, so yeah. they, what, they're a little bit manic. Yeah, they're manic and they, they usually eat really well, their appetite goes up, but they drop weight, which is an unusual thing. It's, it's a real clue that they're hyperthyroid because most diseases, they, they will drop weight, but their appetite will go down, okay. especially with cats, they're quite fussy. Any other things, they, the symptoms that they'd show? Yeah, they get more grumpy, more stroppy, more aggressive. Well, with cats, how would you know? They're generally yeah. pretty <laughs> grumpy and stroppy, aren't they? Depends on the cat, <laughs> depends on the cat, you know. So um, I think... This is that's the point where you, you've got to use your vet. You've got to use your local vet, and you've got to get. You think, hey, this cat's dropping weight. It's eating lots. This is a bit weird. Yeah. It's starting to look um, jumpy and twitchy. Coat's not great. Digestion's not great. Come into the vet. Get a blood test done. It's very very simple. And you'll find out they've got the hypothyroid. Isn't yeah. It? And we can find that out in like 20 minutes. Any breeds that are particularly susceptible to this sort of thing? Um, well, with cats, it's really across the board. Um, we see it in all, all the different cat breeds. It's typically when they're old. Um, it's, a, it's an old age disease. Um, it's unusual to see it under 10 years of age. And when we're examining the cat, we'll see other signs that you can't see at home. So we'll see a high heart rate. Sometimes their heart rate's like 250. What should it be? Uh, not one, 250. 120. Yeah, oh, wow. you're not going to live for too long running around with a heart rate of 250. Okay, so and nothing is. Just a simple blood test. Yeah, blood test. And then test. you find out they've got hypothyroidism. What do you do yeah. then? How do you treat it? Yeah, so that's the other good thing about it, having that condition is that it's very treatable. Mm -hmm. So um, we can. It, it can be as simple as having one tiny little tablet once a day that you crush and, and hide in some food. Depending on the cat, that's yeah. easier said than done. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, what about dogs? Do they get it too? Yeah, so they get the opposite. So, dogs tend to get hypothyroid, where their thyroid glands are not pumping out enough thyroid hormone. And what are the symptoms of that? Well, if you, if you flip it around, it starts to become logical, hey, Mel. So, you get, um, you get sluggish. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. yeah, we know each other too well. Obviously. So, I, I think they, they, they do the opposite thing. They get really sluggish. Um, they seek out warm areas in the house because they're quite cold all the time. They don't want to exercise, um, they can get quite a thin coat uh, and they can get a lot of skin conditions, a lot of ear infections. Right, yeah. so sometimes you might just think it's your dog ageing but there are uh, other things that could be going on. Yeah exactly and that's often what people think is, is oh it's just old age so yeah. they never get it checked and obviously it is something that we can treat and in a similar way we can tell that pretty quickly with blood tests. What about breeds, which one's most susceptible Yeah you see it in spaniels, um, huskies, malamutes, um, greyhounds, we actually get a lot of rescue greyhounds that, that get rehomed okay. with our clients which is fantastic. Yeah. You know, um, They're good pets aren't they? Awesome pets, mm. awesome pets but they are prone to hypothyroidism so you'll often see a, a really shabby thin coat and um, you, you, again you can basically just supplement these guys with thyroid hormone in their diet and they'll do fantastic. So is it preventable at all? Not really. Um, there's some thought that, that inactivity in dogs can, can exacerbate it, but I think there's other things going on, immune system, genetics, um, and, and certainly in cats, it's, it's not really preventable at all. You can make it worse by giving them a poor diet, um, but that these days, most commercial diets are quite good. Yeah, they're pretty so, good, aren't they? Yeah, so it's, it's more, yeah, it's just one of those things that happens. So if you've got any doubts, perhaps just go and see your vet and yeah. just get everything checked out because yeah. it's treatable, make your little pooch or your cat a lot happier. Yeah, ask for a blood test. Okay, Alex, yeah. thank you so much. Like and if you think your pet has what it takes, like this week's pet, Charlie Brown, here from Nelson, then make sure that you enter them in our Pet of the Week competition. Isn't that gorgeous? I simply upload a pic of your pet to be in to win a $50 to spend at petpost.co.com. Dot NZ.